Hey Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift. This is a reading for Capricorn for September. Happy to have you here. I'm working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Capricorn, there are new beginnings you wish to undertake, but simultaneously there's still a lot of the past that you are called to detangle that you probably are better off not carrying with you travel light kind of thing um it's not as much detangling in reality i feel like a lot of things you've resolved and that's why you're in the mindset of okay now i can have this new start sorry it's, just, it's in my eye. um it's more so psychologically your brain is still your your it's still in your energy sphere Past issues, stuff that you've been dealing with, especially the past six months that was heavy. Um, yeah, try to practice breathing deep and kind of telling your brain and your body that what was no longer is, assuming that it's true, or what is left to be worked on, you know, tell yourself it's in the process. But whatever is gone from your reality, align your heart, mind, and energy with it. Because there's a sense of like walking heavy into this new start. And you don't want that. I feel like September is a transition month where you do just that. King of Cups and Nine of Cups. Delayed gratification. Which I'm surprised that I have to say this to you, Capricorn, because Dictionary Capricorn are very good at delayed gratification. You are patient as F. But there is something emotional that you feel very connected to and hopeful for. Still not quite yet. Okay. It's still the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups, but they're in the reverse. Something about a wish of the heart that can and should become. Okay, as as I drop the card, he dropped back in the upright. Don't hold on to the wish, similarly to how you wouldn't hold on to a bird, although you still would want it to land on your hand. Imagine that it has a life of its own. Imagine your wish is an entity. It's energy and life of its own. And it needs to allow you to receive it. Think of your wish like you would think of a woman, whether you're a man or a woman. It's to honor, it's to respect, it's to hope for, but it has to be It has to want it to. It ha your wish needs to want you. All right? I know it sounds funny, but your wish needs to also want you. So think, what does my wish need in order to make her want me? What does she need? Ask it. Hey, Wish, what do you need of me in order to step into my life? It'll tell you. They will tell you. If this is a person, then even more so. And listen to your Wish's answer. Don't just do it because I said so as if it's homework. Genuinely listen and then act in accordance. Then she will grant herself to you. Ah. Two 
Two of Swords in the reverse. Love it. Something clicks in the brain. Because so far, whatever this is you want came from a subconscious need to fill up a void. It's not that there's something wrong with the wish itself. It's just the way you approached it and what you've expected of it. came from a sense of lack and insecurity and neediness. You won't admit it to yourself, but your subconscious is nodding right now. <laughs> but this is the trigger point. This is when it's like, oh, duh. If you want to be with someone, because it's a trophy to obtain and it will say something to your ego that someone won't let won't let you have them wishes are smart like that but if your will is genuine and your heart is true and you're not spending time with them for the sake of them giving you commitment or for the sake of them giving you sex or for the sake of them giving you promotion you're actually doing the job for the sake of doing it you're actually spending the time with them for the sake of spending the time with them if you give and do without an expectation without an agenda they will sense that you are genuine and sincere. And maybe your wish will become their wish. The actions aren't enough. Check, 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 check did this, did that, did that by the book. It needs to be sincerely authentic. If this is a person we're, you're dealing with, they are highly intuitive. They see right through you. They're not giving you what you want because they recognize it's not about them. It's about what you want. And that the second you'll have it, they'll be disposable because they're just, they, you don't see them. They're just a trophy, an arm candy. People with genuine self-respect and, and self-love don't want to be a trophy. They understand it's just something you put afterwards on a shelf. They understand it's empty. They want to be honored for their heart. They want to know that you're with them because you genuinely enjoy being around them. And once again, no agenda. If you're doing everything that you think you ought to be doing, they're still not giving you what you want them to give you. Considering, consider, I'm sorry, that you're doing the right things only surface level. But they really want to feel the heart of it. Mm-hmm. I just realized I didn't take out the uh, the sticker, so I'm drinking coffee from a tahini jar. No longer a tahini jar. Tahini's gone. Now I'm using it for coffee and other stuff. I love jars. They're fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going for Capricorn. Show me more for Kathy for September, please. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. And look what happens when you put essence into it. You get the result. Results are bottom lines of steps full of intent. One step full of intent at uh, time. Talk. Tick. Talk. 
Ten of Pentacles, huh? No wonder you want it. It's everything. Ten of Pentacles is literally everything. So finances are looking good. Family life is looking good. Um, you're overcoming some emotional stagnation, clog, whatever, everything I just said. And shifting behavior and it works. Ace of Swords. I love when the cards agree with me. You're going from the Two of Swords in the reverse to just having the Ace of Swords. So, If you have a sudden sharp idea, go with it. And the Lovers. So there might be a choice that you will be facing in your family life or partnership to do with home life, family, love, all that jazz. There's something you and your person slash people will be asked to commit to and to go full in. If indeed you have family, consider spending time with them in nature. If it's not a family, if it's a soul, soul tribe, same. If it's a special loved one, one person, same. If it's your wish, hey wish, would you like to go spend time in nature? And your wish is like, yeah. Make your wish want you. Mm. I'm picking up on Capricorns that are in a mindset that their wish is already theirs or ought to be theirs or should be theirs or something like that. So it's like a default situation. But the message is it's not. If you're not completely satisfied with what you're having, it means something. It's not because they're lacking, it's because they're not yet giving it to you. Sorry. This one sounds... I always forget. Alright. Show me more about this... Path. Choice. Queen of Cups. After we had the King of Cups in the reverse, so now we have a pair. Yeah, I feel like it's the masculine, if this is love, it's the masculine that assumes his from this Queen of Cups. Um, and I feel like this month will serve as a, not a rude awakening, but an inspiring awakening as to this king is realizing they're dealing with a queen and what it actually means, okay? It's not, oh, by default, this queen is mine. It's, I treat her like, a, like you ought to treat a queen, and then she treats me like you ought to treat a queen. Mm -hmm. But again, not because the book says so, and not because Morgaine said so, but because you tap into the aspect of yourself that genuinely, that genuinely cares about this queen. Okay? Queen of Cups after the level, lovers. Emotions run deep and true. Opportunity for healing the past. Show me more, please, for Capricorn. What is going on with this Queen of Cups? Copy. The Hermit. I feel like you and this person are overcoming some. psychological emotional challenges but you're doing so together there might be an age gap between the two of you there's differences in wisdom not one not that one is wiser than the other as much as it's just a different type of wisdom 
if there is an actual uh, age gap, then this could be just a cultural a difference in cultural wisdom. You might have a child. You might be planning on having a child. We have our family here, King, Queen, and Page of Cups. This could be a grandchild as well. There might be grandparents involved here. A lot of family stuff. A lot of cups. A lot of emotion. I like seeing this for you, Capricorn. You're accepting the feels that you still want to maintain control. I understand. But you got to let go. Um, this page of cups has a lot to teach you. And you seem to be ignoring them. Um, for just assuming you know more. It's what you've been doing to this page of cups and to this queen of cups. And this month will serve as the... Kind of waking up out of it. Realizing that, yeah, you know so much. You're awesome. But so do others. You have so much to teach, but so do others. The hair font, it kind of dropped a little bit. It, it feels like this. It still feels in the upright. So, definitely a married couple on the table. Um, this could be you. This could be a married couple you're dealing with parents, grandparents, uncles, um, like you could literally be this young page of cups. I, I don't think so, but it's possible. Um, there's Pisces energy, there's Virgo energy. Yeah, this month is going to be very meaningful to you, but in an, on an inner level. Like, whatever decisions you'll be making, you won't um, follow through with them yet. It will be the decision and then possibly starting to plan for the long haul. But I feel like November will be the time where you'll start actually uh, following through with these decisions and plans. Clarify this hair font here for me, please. You're really tapping into your intuition and your wisdom. As soon as you let go of your emotional wants, psychological wants, that's the better word, better term. Clarify this hair font. There's a school here, there's students. Possibly, a lot of things are happening at once. Maybe you're considering, oh, maybe you have, maybe you're homeschooling your child, the moon, and you don't know if it's the right thing, you don't know if you're doing it right, you're doing it right, everything's okay, you're very knowledgeable, you got this, um, they actually enjoy spending more time with you, but it does create a lot of, um, they bring up a lot from you and in you, it's like, you know, like when children say the wisest things out of the blue, you just speak the truth and they'll say something seemingly random and it will just hit you. So the more you spend time with them, uh, the wiser you, the more you understand how much they have to teach you. And it's like, a, it's like, it's like a rabbit hole. It's like, it's no ending. One door leads to another that leads to another. That's okay. There's a lot of truth in the unknown and in the dark. And having them right underneath one another, King of Cups in the reverse and the moon, there's some other issues possibly um, going back in your mind to how things happened in your childhood, processing a lot of emotions, confusion. You need to talk about it. I'm even suggesting possibly therapy, like maybe you're going to a therapist 
um, or a consultant of some sort. Maybe it's a mystique, but either way, it's someone you speak to them about your emotions and they help you detangle it. So maybe that's the thing you need to detangle and process and let go of before you're fully open and available for this new start of yours. I'm going to show you the cards and then blah blah. And then blah blah. Okay. So I'm going to clarify for a second these. Um, I'm going to continue this reading focusing on love. I'm going to look into you and your person of interest, mind and heart set of both of you, the dynamic between the two of you and how things unfold. It's a big spread that's called pent a double pentagram spread for love. We will also finish up with messages from the runes. You can find it on Patreon alongside all the extendeds for all the zodiac signs for unlimited streaming. Let's make it pretty. Uh -huh. But not only for this month, but also for past months. So you can check out your past, your last month uh, extended and before that and so on. And there's also tons of yummy VIP stuff like um, daily rune messages, animal spirit, lunar love readings twice a month, which is geared just for my patrons. Um, Karmic shift and liberation, which is a very unique, special, important project that I did for this new decade. And this shift for all the signs, one for each sign, I mean. But you have them all you'll have access to all it really depends on the tier you choose check it out if you want to purchase just this extended separately you can still find it on vimeo but not for long i'm going to move all the extendeds uh to patreon so i'll just have one organized platform um i feel like it's a win-win situation for everyone so yeah check it out all the links are below and also check out tarot masterclass if you want to study tarot for me Okay, Let's clarify this moon and Hierophant for Capricorn for the month of September. Anything else I can tell my Cappies to sum this reading up? Anything important my Capricorn seekers need to know, please? Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> the Tower. Yum. Four of Swords and Page of Wands. All right. Okay. When you ask for clarification, it opens up more questions. I ask to clarify, not to confuse. Anyway. You gotta, this month, kind of sink between your... Um, old world and your new world your conscious is like yeah we're ready let's move move forward but your subconscious is like wait i need to process i'm exhausted and i'm drowning okay don't rush into healing don't be cocky and think you understand it all there is someone that can help you a guide again a therapist a, a psychologist um Tarochi, uh, an astrologer, I don't know, whoever, you know, whatever you'd like, whatever you connect, but make sure it's someone that isn't just telling you this will be, that's what will happen tomorrow and that's it. An advisor. Once again, something here needs to be detangled. If you'll try to push through it or suppress it, it will backfire, it will blow up in your face. And you might experience a breakdown. You don't want that. You don't want have your subconscious so suppressed and dismissed I'm okay I'm okay I'm strong I'm strong I'm not feeling it I'm going I'm going and you're not sit down Cappy you got to feel to heal right one of these dual perceptions is going to break down and you're gonna have to deal with it face on And this is something you don't know everything about. I'm sorry to say, there is someone else in your life that knows more, okay? So, do that in September, and then comes October, you'll feel way better, most especially November. 
I will continue this. So I'll see you in a second, hopefully in the extended, if not in the other videos. I love you so much. Stay magic. Stay true. Uh, if you're new to my channel, press the bell button after you press the subscribe and join the shift and receive notifications and just, you know, be awesome. You'll be awesome. I'll be awesome. Everyone's awesome. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. See you soon.